Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will use data from a randomized experiment to compare two treatments. Also we will use simulations to decide if differences between parameters are significant. Now let us discuss hypothesis testing. Now suppose I have a coin and I want to know whether the coin is fair or unfair to know this I will perform an experiment of flipping a coin to know whether it is fair or not thus see I have two questions is coin fair? Is coin unfair? Such questions come under the domain of hypothesis. For this I assume coin is fair. Then perform the experiment Then draw conclusion from the experiment to know whether my assumption about coin was true or not. Now if the assumption is not true, then I draw conclusion that coin is not fair. So I made a hypothesis that coin is fair, but after experiment, I reached the conclusion as the coin is not fair. So the hypothesis assumed is called null hypothesis, but I rejected the null hypothesis and arrived at conclusion that coin is not fair. This is alternative hypothesis. Now, null hypothesis is denoted by H naught and alternative hypothesis is denoted by H1 Now these hypotheses are stated in such a way that they are mutually exclusive. That is, if one is true, then other must be false and vice versa. So we either accept null hypothesis or reject null hypothesis. And if we reject null hypothesis, it means we are accepting Alternative hypothesis. So, in tossing a coin, we stated null hypothesis H naught as coin is fair and alternative hypothesis H1 as coin is not fair. After experiment, we rejected H naught and we accepted H1. Similarly, if you want to find whether there is a significant difference between means of two populations or not, let mu1 and mu2 be population means then we define Null hypothesis H naught as mu1 is equal to mu2. That is, there is no significant difference between means of two populations and alternative.
limiting hypothesis H1 as mu1 is not equal to mu2 that is there is significant difference between means of two populations and after the experiment we may accept or reject the null hypothesis now let us discuss testing hypothesis about an experiment now we know that there are two groups in an experiment one is control group and other is treatment group now suppose we measure a difference between the control and treatment groups how do you know if the difference is from the treatment or if it's just a chance result of the choice of the groups for this we resample the data now let us understand using illustration here a randomized experiment tests whether the soil supplement affects the total yield in kilograms of cherry tomato plants the table below shows the results how does the difference in the means of the control and treatment groups compare with the differences resulting from chance now to perform this experiment we first need to find means of control and treatment groups now in step 1 we will calculate means that is we will calculate mean of treatment group and mean of control group and then we will find difference of the means now the difference can be positive or negative and it can be zero when mean of treatment group is equal to mean of control group now mean of treatment group is equal to sum of observations upon number of observations and this is equal to 16.9 upon 10 which is equal to 1.69 similarly mean of control group is equal to sum of observations upon number of observations and this is equal to 13.7 upon 10 which is equal to 1.37 now difference of the means is equal to mean of treatment group that is 1.69 minus mean of control group that is 1.37 and this is equal to 0.32 now in step 2 combine measurements and resample now working in pairs cut index cards to make 20 equal sized pieces and write one yield measurement on each and place the pieces in a bag then shake it and randomly choose ten pieces and call this as treatment group and Call the remaining ten pieces in the bag as control group and 
Then, find mean for each group. Then record mean of treatment group and mean of control group. And then, return the pieces to the bag. And then, perform the resampling experiment five times each time finding the difference of the means. Then, in third step, state the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. And for this activity, the null hypothesis H0 is given as the soil nutrient has no effect on the yield of the cherry tomato plants. And the alternative hypothesis H1 is given as the soil nutrient has effect on the yield of the cherry tomato plants. Now let us evaluate the null hypothesis. Now to conclude that the experiment is responsible for the difference in yield, you need strong evidence to reject the null hypothesis. To evaluate the null hypothesis, compare the experimental difference of means with the resampling differences. Now in step 1, collect and display results. Now here, collect all the differences calculated by pairs of mean of treatment group minus mean of control group. Display the differences in a histogram. A sample histogram for 50 resamplings can be made using a graphing calculator. In step 2, analyze resampling data. Now, we have sample difference of means as 0 0.32. So draw a vertical line on histogram to represent this difference. If the experimental difference of means lies in one of the tails of the resampling distribution, then resampling gave a difference of means at least as large as the experimental difference. This gives evidence for rejecting the null hypothesis. More specifically, if the experimental difference of means falls outside of the middle 95% of the resampling differences of the means, you can reject the null hypothesis at the 95% confidence level. So in this session we have discussed about hypothesis testing and we have used simulations to decide if differences between parameters are significant or not. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.